everyone welcome back to my channel if you can't guess what we're vil filming today it is diamond painting pens more specifically how you use them um, and today we're focusing on the tips that come with the diamond painting pens and then of course some options you have for pens as well so first things first if you've ever gotten a diamond painting kit <clears throat> Most likely you've gotten one of these cheap plastic little diamond painting placers. They may be solid pink, green, it just depends on the company. And they'll usually come with a few different tips. Now, these are like the basic ones, but actually there's nothing wrong with these, using these. You don't need to actually go buy the fancy schmancy ones. It's just something that tends to happen when you really get into diamond painting. But for an example, I have... One here, I got this one off of Amazon. It came with a set of metal tips, which was nice. Um, and then I have a few custom pens that I've gotten off of Etsy. And I mean, you can find a diamond painting pen for just about any style, want, or need. And they'll range anywhere from $15 to 60 something a pen. Yeah, you heard me right. <laughs> so, um, Keep that in mind. Some companies are a lot more expensive than others. Uh, like this one here was fun. I got it for Valentine's Day. It has a bunch of like confetti hearts and stuff in the resin. But this is done with a lathe, uh, so it's really cool. This one here is wood and resin. Um, this one was an expensive one. This one here was pretty expensive too with the feathers in it. But it just depends on where you go like um, I'll leave a link in the description below to some of my favorite places for custom pens now all diamond painting pens will come with the single placer now it'll either have this plastic with a metal end or sometimes you can get the metal placers like this and you can buy replacement ones on Amazon they're usually referred to as cat's ear single placers and I will try to remember to link that below then depending on who you get your pens from or where you get them, you'll collect a variety of placers. Um, this is like only a small bit that I poured from my stash bag. <laughs> so you'll end up with replacement tips. You will need replacement single placers no matter what, um, especially with these plastic ones. They end up bending after a while, warping. So you'll end up popping those out and replacing them. Now the, the end of your diamond painting brush is where you have an option to add a multi-placer. Or if you don't want to multi-place, you can add a separating tool or you can add another single placer and put a different type of putty in there because there's certain times I will want a wax up in my front placer but then I'll have a different wax for like AB diamonds the Aurora Borealis ones because certain putties and waxes stick to those and it's just a pain so it's up to you honestly there's no right or wrong you customize your pen to how you see fit it's just obviously you'll always have a single placer somewhere but you don't have to you can actually pop that out and put two different multi placers on each end if you want it so what kind of multi-placers can you get? Well, you can get quite a lot. And most of the time it is printed. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera though. Maybe if we hit the right light. Oh, you see that number four there? So it'll usually have a printed number on the side and that tells you how many drills you would be able to pick up with this. So this is a four placer. For example, this is a nine placer. Uh, it looks more like a six, but okay. Um, this big one here is a 15 placer. So when you multi-place, you're picking up a whole row off of your um, tray, and then you're putting that whole row down at once. Typically in a multi-placer tool, I will put a putty. Oops, excuse the dog hair. So this has putty inside of it. Instead of wax, I just find it's easier but you'll also have two different types of multi-placers. Let me see if I can find a fat one versus a narrow one. 
Okay, here we go. Just so I can show you a side-by-side -side comparison. So this is a narrow, whereas this one is not. This is a wider one. Now, the wider the multiplacer is, and I'm talking the width in here where the putty would go, the more of the drill it's going to cover. I personally prefer a narrow placer. It doesn't envelop and take over the entire drill, which means less likely to be stuck inside your placer when you go to actually pop it down and then lift up. Will it stay on the drill or stick to the canvas's glue? Even the best glue Sometimes, depending on how strong your putty is, it won't come back. It'll just keep coming back up because it's kind of been sucked up into your placer. <laughs> so these larger placers here, like anywhere from 13, 14 to 15, I rarely use unless I have a huge amount of color blocking. Like a canvas I'm working on right now has massive color blocking around the sides. So those would be handy. Otherwise, I typically use a four or a seven placer. And again, I like them narrow. So that's usually what I have on the end of mine. Like right here, you can see I've got a seven. Come on, camera. And I even still have a seven on this one. And then I will be talking about putties, waxes, and all that in another video, just FYI. So if you're asking about that. Now, these little tools are kind of handy because you can use them to go in between your drills if you have round drills and straighten everything out. You can also use them to gently nudge on your canvas gently something over. So if say you're just a little bit off center, you can nudge it over, but you can also use this to help get a drill off. You can also use tweezers, but there's the occasional time where I'll have just a tiny drill that fell and I just need to pluck it off. And I'll use this. So let's find my one that has, aha. Okay, so a lot of the insides, there we go camera, of your diamond painting pens, whether it's these plastic ones, well these are less likely. It's usually the custom ones. These tend to wear out over time. Oh, I won't zoom in, there we go. So you may notice like right now, if I were to put a placer in here, well, this one's nice and tight, it just depends on the manufacturer, but you'll notice they'll loosen over time and you'll go to put it down, lift it up, and the little thing will pop right out and stay right upright on your canvas. So to fix that, you just wrap a little washi tape like I did right here around it, and that makes it snug when I put it back in. So that's one way if you notice like they're loosening or they're like jiggling. Oh, because that annoys me. Now others like this one here, they screw in, but eventually the threads on these ones I've noticed tends to wear out. And I'm talking about the threads inside the resin. So I'll end up having to wrap this and put it in there just to keep it snug. All right, now if you prefer you can do a single placer that is angled. A lot of people like these because otherwise when you're placing your drills, you're placing flat down like that. Whereas with the angled placer, you can actually see a lot better. And I'll just pop it in on this side for an example. But as opposed to having to look over yourself, see you'd be placing like this. So you can hold the pen off to the side and place and it's a lot easier on people's wrists as well um, but it's honestly just a preference they even have some that come with lights in them I, I haven't bought those but it is an option so yeah that is just a brief overview of the different tips you would get you will end up with a ton of these the more kits you buy even cheap ones off of Amazon and stuff like that will still come with a placer and a few multi-placer tools. And before you know it, you will have an entire Tupperware dish of multi-placers, but do not discard those, um, the plastic ones, because they do wear out. Usually, after a few times of pulling putty and stuff out of these bad boys, they start to warp, crack, break. You'll even have some that'll start bending, and that's good because you'll have tons of replacements. I usually will go through and remove all the wide ones that I don't want. Like here's a multi-placer, 
let's see how wide that is I wouldn't use that one so I'll go through and like get the ones that I would never use out of my collection now when it comes to metal metal does last a lot longer and metal works a lot better with the stickier ones so like if you use sticky dots uh, I would definitely use a metal tip if you like to put putty in your single placer I would also use a metal tip personally um, these cheaper plasticky tips go out pretty quickly however you'll find that you're replacing your multi placers more often than your single placers and that's just because especially the wider they get the more easy it is for them to warp and they are cheap plastic should you invest in metal ones honestly that is totally your preference. I only grabbed some metal ones because it came with a pen, but I still end up more often than not using these plastic ones because I have so many I get for free with my kits that, well, what's the point, <laughs> right? So if you have any questions about these different tips and whatnot, let me know. In the next video, I will be showing you guys how to use waxes and putties with these tips. But I just wanted to give you a brief rundown of the tips you're likely to get in your kits and what to do with them. And then of course, remember you can customize your pen however you want. You can have a single placer and a multi placer, which is what I do more often than not. But you can also Swip, swap it up and do a single placer that's straight and then a curved single placer or you can just take your single placer and put in a straightening tool. It's really up to you. There's no right or wrong. The whole point of these having removable tips is for you to customize your pens to what works best for you. And you can see I have some washi tape on this one because I was trying to make it fit and then I realized it was way too wide and I hate wide, <laughs> wide ones. <laughs> so, yep, do what you want with your pens, but at least you know what the tips are for. And of course, keep in mind the washi tape trick. If you notice, it's getting too loose um, because originally when I got this one, they fit in there nice and snug, but then this one started jiggling. So I just wrapped it in washi tape because the tip itself is still in good condition. So I don't want to throw it out and it has putty in there I want to use. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know again in the comments below what your favorite tips are. I'd love to know, do you typically use the large multi-placers, smaller multi-placers? Do you double side yours, one for AB, one for just regular drills? I'd love to know about that. And until next time, take care. Bye now.